Sun and the Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, actually, this section of the video will be following just some uh, fast forward, sped up um, painting uh, and static videos of, of the build um, over the past few days. So, um, hopefully, you're all reasonably impressed with what I've achieved in a bit of a short space of time. Um, yeah, getting getting this plywood, apart from this bit of um, treated pine, I've just put across. It's a bit hard to see, actually, because it's all, it's all just been painted in white. It's had two coats of the white, but that's, um, firstly, I might as well, since I've brought it up, um, that's where I'm going to stick um, some LED strip uh, underneath. Uh, I don't currently have uh, a section of LED strip. I'll just try and show you up on the left. Probably need another coat of white under there, but um, quite long enough. So uh, when I've got the funds, I'll get another pack with the controller. But um, I've got a shortened section, um, which is probably only about 800 mil long, uh, which will go on initially. And then I'll add a second strip um, either in front of it or behind it uh, just to up the light intensity. Um, and if it's a bit too bright, um, there's a dimming feature on the remotes with the, the brand I use. Anyway, so I'll just, no, it won't let me pan back. I'll just stand back and I'll study a little bit further. But that's uh, that gives you a view. Um, of the exhibition layout uh, you might notice if I pan to the left and the right you can see the cupboard doors that uh, were blocked initially but uh, yeah Ashford North is standing up over there at the moment um, I'm gonna ha have to either rearrange the room or uh, just uh, have that stored and run an operator occasionally um, till I've got uh, a dedicated room for a layout, in which case that'll form part of a around the room uh, shelf layout. But um, but yeah, I think for the time being, also um, I needed a more solid surface to actually mount it on, and so I can work in and begin the uh, scenic king and uh, produce a series of videos which um, I'm hoping will be uh, reasonably popular on the channel and across YouTube. So it also allow me, um, as I said before, from here you've got the entry, um, the outside of the, the layout box uh, is uh, not painted at the moment but there'll be an an enclosed um, fiddle section uh, probably only with a maximum of two tracks and I'm thinking um, maybe to just have a either put a white point or um, make a um, little transverse actually probably a white point for the sake of 45 New Zealand dollars um, but that's a little bit down the track um, Layout's currently um, wide. Um, over the coming days, um, I will film a just a test section with some locos running. Um, from the previous posts and that, I've had to remove that point. I just couldn't get it working. It was too badly damaged. So unfortunately, that's uh, that's gone to the garbage bin. Um, I am going to. I didn't want to rob anything off Ashford North, but I'm still very proud of what I've achieved on this layout. Um, but looking down here, all right, to the left of the screen, you can see a point which wasn't really used very much on this layout. Um, I'm going to um, borrow that, well, remove that off the layout and probably um, I'm going to have to lift that bit of track there as well with the plan of um, uh, 
replacing that, putting another another new one back in. Um, that one only services the small siding. For those of you that have seen the layout before, um, or I may just um, take that little siding out and just just put a new piece of flexi down to the end, um, so I could just be a uh, bit of storage. Anyway, back to the layout. So that that'll work there. Um, you may have noticed um, it's actually a right hand point, but I've got enough space that I can actually um, connect it by the right hand section of the point. So it'll be slightly curved there and then have the straight section. Um, actually what I've drawn on there actually looks, it's supposed to actually be a left hand point, but yes, anyway, so that's going to go in there. Um, I'm going to continue the track down to the end um, to service um, a, a postal area and a small small country um, a small platform uh, which would probably um, only serve a handful of trains a day um, predominantly um, peak hour um, to service the industries in which which are going to be on this layout so um, I toed and froed. I was really reluctant to um, to do anything to, to that layout because obviously Ashford North is not finished and um, uh, you will see it again. You, you will see some obsessions and you will see some more how-to videos on, on that. Um, but it will be a case of once this one's complete, um, I've built it very strong. It's the first time I've actually built a box layout um, it's going to have just a lightweight probably MDF sheet um, as a roof which I may only put on um, when exhibiting it uh, um, so that way you can look into the scene and immerse yourself in the scene um, but yeah this this will fit in my my Fiesta uh, just um, with the removable fiddle yard and also, it means at home, um, when I'm not exhibiting it or I'm not running it, um, I can switch between the two layouts and have one up uh, at any given time. And I may just end up building um, just another small fiddle yard, a narrow one just to, to match Ashford North. But anyway, we'll forget about Ashford North for the time being. Um, I'm really having... A good time just with a new project a new concept um, and uh, I'm just keenly waiting um, for the websites to open up for two exhibitions I'm interested in exhibiting at so I'm trying to get get in early um, so I can exhibit I've never actually exhibited a layout before um, it's a good way to get free entry and meet a lot of new people in the hobby so uh so yeah over the coming couple of months i want to get this up to a, a quality and a stage where i it's ready to go um for an exhibition all right guys i'm not going to um off on any longer but uh yep watch for updates um let me know what you think uh, may have the outside painted just trying to decide whether to do that in a um in a br blue or a br rail freight red um just to keep with the british rail theme uh so yeah and hopefully um the next video will be showing me laying the last remaining bit of track which will include that point that line there and a switchback um here um I just decided, um, sorry I got distracted earlier, but I was considering just saying, no, I'm going to do this on a budget. I'm not going to take anything off the other layout and I'll just have it like an ingle nook and just run a piece of flexi all the way to the end and just shunt on those three lines um, going on and off scene. But I thought 
I'll regret that in the long run. I just want another operational variable, which will be um, uh, a TMD or a loco depot and a refueling point where I can um, store my switching locomotive, um, which I'll be using either my class 25 or class 08 or something smaller, that um, when I run a train in um loco first it can stop at the end of the siding um, unhook the train and then we'll then we can drive the um, switcher out through the point using the um the station line as a head shunt and then reverse back through the points to there and then back down the line and that way um, like empties can be pulled off this line and then switched on to that back line where the um, the new unnamed industry will be um, yeah and then plus I can still um, I'll have a variety of trains reversing in and coming in loco first uh, so yeah um, but I recommend everyone have a go, like a micro layout, 1200mm long. Um, it just means that everything you do is a lot cheaper and you can you can keep going and going. You can add lights, you can add digital effects, you can add sounds um, and it doesn't cost you the earth. So I want to actually put some proper um, yard lights and... Um, platform lights and that in here eventually and just make it a real immersive um, uh, thing to look at and and for people to um, and also just to try new technologies and also pack as much technology and fun stuff into the layout that'll um, make people go wow um, this is good and maybe I could have a go all right guys wrap it along long enough uh take care happy modeling and there'll be another video later next week all the best